You know, I love a lot of things in life, but few compared to the love I have for rice cake and peanut butter. Darling, you send me. I know you send me. Darling, you send me. I know you send me. Darling, you send me. Darling, you send me. Alrighty, so the vlog is already re oh, we're way crooked, aren't we? Alrighty, so my vlog is already rendering right now. It's about eight and a half minutes. I feel really happy about that time. About eight minutes, I think, is a really nice vlog. It keeps everyone's attention span for a better amount of time. I'm also double uploading today, which I need to tweet out and let people know. And I'm pretty curious to see how it does. It's kind of a serious rant, but like, I do add in some humor and stuff. Go check it out. I'm not sure what it's gonna be titled yet, but you'll know it's separate from the vlogs. What that what that booty do? <laughs> Dude, I <laughs> Dude, I, I didn't know what you were doing. I was like, is she gonna, is she gonna pause the music? So yeah, pretty much I love food. I can't ever stop eating. The only downside of eating so much food, I would say is the cleanup. Yeah, gotta do some dishes. I can't decide on something. Do we take this down? Because it's ruining a lot of videos. There's just a constant penis in every kitchen shot. I was cooking yesterday, right? Had a nice little time lapse. Guess what was in the background staring you down the whole time? The dude's head. You know what I'm saying? And not the top, I mean he doesn't have a head. So, but yeah, fucking just body, nipple, t just, just penis, just chilling. I need to take it down. I just don't know where to put it, you know? And if someone sends me a gift, can't just throw it away. <laughs> Dude, I get done with the shower and I come down to most of the dishes being done. Oreo is a freaking gem, dude. He's such a good guy. Yo, you know my favorite thing about cooking a lot of food? You always get leftovers, man. I threw a can of tuna in there with the chicken from last night. Got some rice in there as well. And we about to be eating good, boy. When Drake's got you feeling some type of way. This is not a fate. I already know how you like it. Oh shit. Oh shit. Is it about to get I don't know how much of this I can play. They, they'll mute my video. Yeah, we're gonna get you, Drake. We still gonna have a good time. You don't even know. White guy dancer, that's how I do. Why you gotta fight with me at cheesecake? You know I love to go there. Say I'm acting light skin. I can't take you nowhere. This a place of food. Oh, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Alright, so I got upstairs and I was reading some messages that someone sent me on YouTube. And someone said, Hi Taylor, I've been watching your videos since you moved to the West Coast and I can tell you enjoy reading a good book every now and then. I was just wondering if maybe on an upcoming vlog or something you could give the names of a couple books you like and would recommend to others. So, let me tell you about some of the books. Alright, so first of all, let me go ahead and tell you that I'm not a super reader by any means. Growing up, I hated reading. Uh, I just did nothing for my attention span. I can never stay drawn to a book, whether it was something that was revered as great or something that was horrible. I just can never stay with it. Uh, a lot of my time was spent doing mathematics because I love, I love numbers. And uh, apart from that, playing video games because I felt like I could relate. But what am I currently reading? So let me show you. So this is the book I'm currently reading. I picked it up before I left uh, to move to the West Coast and everything. And honestly, I started strong and then like didn't pick it up until more recently. And I've actually been reading it pretty consistently the past couple days. And that's why I'm making this video now. Because before I didn't want to say, hey, I read books if I wasn't actually reading a book daily. So as I was reading that book, my curiosity like grew for reading because I'm not very well read. My vocabulary is pretty lacking and I just don't know movie. I'm pop culture's awful. I never watch movies or TV shows. I never read. So I just wanted to become more well-rounded. So that's my that's what sparked my interest in reading again. Here are some other books. 
that people have sent me and or recommended. This is a daily journal that I write in every day. This is where I do the sketches. This is the Alchemist, which is apparently amazing. It's uh has to do with some motivational type stuff, I believe. This is one of Oreo's favorite book. He actually has like 10 copies of this, and whenever someone says like, yo, I want a book, he literally just gives it to them. So Oreo reads a lot, and this is one of the books uh, that he gave me. This is a book that was sent to me through the P.O. Box by a friend by the name of Tessan. She works at a library, and she knows I've been looking for some reading material, and she sent me this. It is a story of true success, or a story of success, rather. So as you can tell, it's another one of those motivational type things. This right here is Ready Player One, and I haven't read a fictional book since probably, what was it called, The Magic Tree House, I think, wherever they like read books and they went into those realms. And this is The Power of Now. I actually had one of my best friends who was going through a pretty rough time in his life, and uh, he had some personal problems he had to overcome, and this was something that was given to him by his uncle, and uh, after he finished it, he actually gave it to me before I left. We're talking about books we were reading. Do you have anything to add? Books. All right, so I'm gonna finish the other book I showed you, then I'm gonna do The Alchemist, then the uh, motivational one, then the fictional one, then this one. So yeah, that's it. That's pretty much where I'm at. I never really had a huge interest in books until probably, uh, probably until I started streaming. It pretty much happened like this. So I was streaming on Twitch and people were making references to books, to movies, to shows, all types of things, and they weren't even really uh, obscured or unseen or whatever. They're very renowned things. Um, but I actually didn't know it just because I never do dove into that. I never watched a lot of movies. Uh, I've never really dove into TV shows or anything. Books, again, it's just been re uh, recent interest, so I don't like, I don't read a whole, whole lot. Uh, I've recently been reading before I go to bed for about 30 minutes to an hour, and it actually helps me sleep better. Alrighty, everything's all set up. Now it's just time to wait for people to come by, man. Uncharted 3, coming at you. Live stream's about to start. I'll talk to you guys after. And Uncharted 3 is finished. Pretty happy with how it went. A lot of backstory on Drake, which is cool. Uncharted 2, I think, is my favorite. I think, I think I prefer Uncharted 2. Homie just leaves the water running. Uh, well, for good reason. 8 o'clock right now, probably about to eat some oats. Uh, head to the gym, get a workout in. Man, good workout. Feeling good. I normally don't like lifting this late because it's gonna take a little bit of time for my body to kind of wind down. That's one of the worst things about working out at night. That's actually kind of a thing that people ask a lot is uh, if working out, which what time of the day is best to work out at? If you work out in the morning, essentially what you're doing is jump-starting your metabolism by doing something active and you're also uh, promoting energy throughout the rest of your day. So working out in the morning is usually best. If you're going for strength, let's say you're a power lifter or something, they say a lot of research shows that like 4 p.m., 3 p.m., 4 p.m. is that like uh, peak hour for physical performance. So if you're in the gym trying to improve your PRs or whatever, Apparently that's the best time to lift. I wouldn't know too much about that because I don't really max on anything. But um, I have heard that that is the most efficient time in terms of strength to lift. And at night, if it comes down to it and you don't have a, the only time you can work out is night, then by all means work out. But essentially your internal clock is telling your body, hey, it's nighttime, it's time to go to sleep. That's what we do. And when you work out right before bed, it's essentially jump starting your, your uh, heart rate and your blood pressure and everything, making it rise. Uh, Cause that's what happens when you work out, but your internal clock is saying, no, we need to lower it because we're going to sleep. So it kind of puts your uh, little bit of stress on your heart and everything and your cardiovascular system. It's kind of an interesting thing. So best time to work out morning. If you're looking for strength midday, if you have to get your workout in, by all means work out at night. All right, you good. Okay, three, two, go. No, no. <laughs> Dude, you need an extra hand? We can all just do it at the same time. Everyone click back at the same time. Go. Go. Oh shit. Oh my god! Yeah. Yes! Yes! <laughs> no. This shit's fire! Yo, no, he can keep the copyright. No. He, needs it. he needs it. You get the claim, dog. Take it! Take the ads! Just yes. take them! <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I got you. Do we have a multi-directional <laughs> system now? <laughs> Dude, that's amazing. That sounds so weird. Dude, that's good. <laughs> Yo, man. Just showing you guys a little bit of that chicken. It's looking good. Got a little bit of that jasmine rice. Got to sell some romaine lettuce. And got an Oreo for dessert. No? No? Okay. We got chicken, though. Dude, I'm exhausted. <laughs> it's one o'clock. Uh, I'm about to throw my body in the shower, uh, throw these clothes in the washer, brush my teeth, 
and make some sweet love to that bed, man. Appreciate you guys watching. Have a good rest of your night. Good night. <laughs>